Hello everyone, welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve this nice uh, infinite sum. Uh, sum of 0 to infinity arc sine of square root of n plus 3 over n plus 2 times square root of n plus 1 minus square root of n over n plus 1 square root of n plus 2. Okay, how to start? Well, uh, as a first step, uh, here uh, in the determinator we have square root of n plus 1 here also we have square root of n plus 2 so uh, I'm going to um, remove the square root sign so here sum of 0 to infinity arc sine of arc sine of uh, now I'm going to multiply both numerator and denominator uh, by square root of n plus 1 so in the numerator we have square root of n plus 3 times n plus 1 over now here we have n plus 1 times n plus 2 then here uh, now we are going to multiply both numerator and denominator by square root of n plus 2 so here we have square root of n times n plus 2 over n plus 1 times n plus 2 okay then Mm, what do you think well now i'm going to take a substitution uh, like sine of x sine of x is equal to 1 over n plus 1 because here we have n plus 1 n plus 1 n plus 2 n plus 2 so uh, we can find the cosine of x we know cosine of x is equal to the square root of 1 minus sine square of x so 1 over n plus 1 perfect square so if we simplify we have here uh, square root of n plus 1 perfect square uh, minus 1 over here n plus 1 <coughs> square root of n plus 1 square we know n plus 1 so now uh, we know if we simplify this n square plus uh, 2 times n plus 1 minus 1 get cancelled so we have here uh, n times n plus 2 over n plus 1 okay then uh, again we can take another substitution so I am going to take sine of y sine of y is equal to 1 over n plus 2 kya So we can find the cosine of y we know cosine of y is equal to the square root of 1 minus 1 over n plus 2 perfect square so if we simplify uh, we know here we have uh, n plus 2 perfect square minus 1 over n plus 2 perfect square okay then uh, here we know n square plus 4 times n plus 4 minus 1 so plus 3 here is square root sign and here we have n plus 2 now we know uh, this is equal to here the square root of square root of n plus 3 times n plus 1 over n plus 2 okay this is we know cosine of y well, uh, then if you look at uh, our sum here, uh, we have arc sine of square root of n plus 3, n plus 1 over n plus 1, n plus 2. So, we can write sum of sum of n is equal 0 to infinity arc sine of arc sine of. Now, uh, here we know. Uh, sine of x is equal to 1 over n plus 1 so uh, here 1 over n plus 1 so sine of x sine of x then uh, here we have this part the square root of n plus 3 n plus 1 over n plus 2 we know also cosine of y so cosine of y uh, then minus now 1 over n plus 2 we know sine of y so here n plus 2 so we have minus sine of y and uh, this part we know 
cosine of x so now we have n is equal 0 to infinity arc sine of now we know this is equal to sine of x minus y uh, then arc sine sine uh, we know cancel so 0 to infinity x minus y now we know x is equal to uh, yeah we can isolate the x uh, arc sine of 1 over n plus 1 so we have 0 to infinity arc sine of 1 over n plus 1 then y we know arc sine of 1 over n plus 2 well now we have uh, telescope in series so if you plug in 0 here we know we have arc sine of 1 uh, minus arc sine of 1 over 2 then if we plug in 1 uh, we know here we have arc sine of 1 over 2 minus arc sine of uh, 1 over 3 plus uh, so on so we know uh, these all terms get cancelled uh, without arc sine of 1 so we have arc sine of 1 arc sine of 1 we know pi over 2 okay this is the answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching